Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. Now, the Jamaica Scorpions are searching for their second win in their fourth outing, as at sports time, the West Indies Academy were 121 for two in the CWI Regional Four Day Championship. The match is being played at Sabina Park. Kadima Lane with 52 has been the top scorer so far for the Academy team, with support from Joshua Dorn, who was 39 not out at sports time. Pete Salmon and Ojay Shields have taken the wickets for the Scorpions. Meanwhile, Jamaica's women are looking to end their regional Super 50 campaign unbeaten and they're facing Guyana's women at the St. Paul's Sports Complex in St. Kitts and Nevis. At sports time, Jamaica's women were 64 for 7. Rashada Williams was a top scorer with 31, while Chadine Nation contributed 20. Ashmini Munisar and Sienna Retimaya have been the best bowlers for Guyana. Jamaica, in their previous game against the Windward Islands women, by virtue of winning that contest, became Super 50 champions for the first time in over a decade. Knox College defended their Issa Rural Area Girls Volleyball title with an easy three-love beating of Western Zone champions Manning School in the final played at GC Foster College on Tuesday. The Clarendon team won the first set 25-8 in just 15 minutes. Manning's put up a better showing in the second, but went on to lose the set 25-21. The young Manning's team again showed some fight in the third and final set, but Knox proved superior and took that set 25-17. It wasn't um, that bad, um, but um, we sort of stepped back a bit in the second set, um, sort of relaxed a bit, and we, we were tending to play the other team's game. But we took up the pace in the third set and carried it home. Meanwhile, Central Zone winners St. Jago High boys proved too much for Western champions Froome Technical, pummeling them three love to be crowned Rural Volleyball Kings. They took the first set 25-15, riding the wave of the powerful service and hitting game of Lovelet Blake. St. Jago uh, took the second set 25-14 and then wrapped up the match as they won the final set 25-18. Under 20 record holder Jaden Hibbert will be the main attraction in the men's triple jump at this year's Racers Grand Prix. Uh, this was confirmed on Tuesday by president and head coach at the Racers Track Club, Glenn Mills. Still, my, um, Froome was able to uh, win them, but beat them by one point. I knew. And what happened is that they were training. Not, I didn't give them permission. They trained the day before the competition. And normally, when they train up tonight in the day of the competition, they're going to use up a lot of energy, concentration, and all of that going to set in on the following day. So I knew at the end of that day, when I saw how the, how the game turned out. On the Will run. Clay comes to mind, who has been a veteran at it, um, Olympic and World Championship medalist. And we expect a very exciting um, competition. Mills is expecting great things from Hibbert this season. Last year, um, he did some amazing jumps. And fortunately, he was um, injured at the World Championship. Uh, I think he was odds on to win the gold medal. And um, he has come back and he's training exceptionally well. And um, we think that there is something special in store this year. Another World Honor 20 record holder, Rashawn Clark, will also be on show at the meet. And that does it uh, for your midday sports. Shamela? Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. And that's the midday news. I'm Shamela Pullen. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news sports and production teams, good afternoon.